Hey friends. So today, something that has kind of showed up for me, I, uh, I spoke yesterday about arriving back home and a kind of somewhat intense experience I had with my daughter uh, upon, during our during our practice session uh, on, on, on violin, Annalise plays violin, and I work with her on it pretty much every day. And but something happened in the in the kind of midst of that that was not really related to the practice, but kind of ended up having a having an effect. And we got through it. If you want to no details you should watch my post from yesterday but i found that i both as a as a kind of outgrowth of that experience although it was already kind of happening before that i felt like I've craved a community. I've craved a community of people who are going through similar experiences. And that's an, kind of a new feeling for me. Very often in my life I've just kind of felt like I'm good <laughs> on my own I've just sort of felt like I have what I need within me I, 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 I do well with contemplating I do well with one-on-one -on -one relationships and it's only when something happens that kind of takes me into a realm where I'm like oh, okay there's stuff I don't understand and and it feels and the stakes feel high enough or it feels important enough that I that my knowledge deficit feels relevant feels significant i um suddenly i crave a community and it's usually pretty short lived <laughs> it's usually like i need to reach out to like one or two people and then i'm good um but I found that pattern recurring in a couple different ways. It happens, it's happening to me around music right now. It's happening to me around creativity and, and, and uh, artistic expression, my writing, my writing and composing. I've felt like I crave some dialogue. My professional choices, my professional direction. I felt like I could benefit from some colleagues, people doing similar things, people who are, who might have a sense of what, you know, what someone in our in our position in our kind of like practice does and so i've had that urge today for for i've, I've kind of spent the morning and we arrived back here i'm kind of doing my domestic duty getting the house together getting the meal for the night for the evening ready to go that kind of thing um but I 
suddenly have this impulse. And I, and, I, and I wondered, actually, you know, I spoke yesterday a little bit about a trip always helps a chapter end and a new chapter start. And if there was something that I could that I could invoke or conjure into this next chapter for myself, it would be contact. It would be professional contact and a sense that I'm not working so much in isolation, that I'm working a little bit more in a network. And I think, you know, for someone who's very sort of individual, with well, a very individualized, very, very, very happy being alone, you know, for a personality type like mine, that can be, it's, it's, there's always a, it's always a mixed bag because, you know, networks remain networks, even when you wish you could just go and do your own thing or be in your own little bubble. That's kind of the whole point is that you're in a network. You're not in your own little bubble. And it's only ever an illusion that you were there anyway. But, but it's, it's interesting and it, in some ways it's um, very welcome to feel like on some level I'm looking for that. I'm, I, on some level I'm kind of ready for dialogue around certain things that it's been a while since I felt that. And, and one area clearly is, is, you know, in the area of parenting and working with a young child, because it's one of these areas where I've felt oddly attuned, oddly sort of naturally suited to be a parent, to, to be the, in some ways, the primary caregiver for my daughter. You know, I, my wife is around a lot, obviously, but she, she has a job that means I end up spending a lot of afternoons and mornings and even some weekends with Annalise. It's one of my great joys of my, of this phase of my life. But I also, in doing that, you, you know, you, you have certain experiences and you're like, whoa, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I have an intuition. I have a, I have a deep kind of sensitivity to who my child is and what she needs. But that doesn't mean that there's nothing for me to learn. And every once in a while, I'm like, okay, I feel like for whatever, whatever is happening right now, I, I need to learn something I need to learn. There's something I should be investing in, in learning, because I think it might, either it will facilitate what, you know, I'm experiencing, or even it can be as simple as it will put me at ease about what's happening and just let me invest. Let me keep, you know, uh, what I can tell is you got to just be in the game, you know, being in the game and, and really kind of never letting up is kind of the, is kind of what's called for doesn't mean don't give your child space. It just means even when you're giving them, whether you're giving them space or not giving them space, you're on the job. <laughs> if you're giving them space, you're giving, you're on the job giving them space, but you're never not on the job. And it's funny because I've, when I think back, I, at some point in my, in my growing up or in my sort of mid to late adolescence, I realized Wow, the friends that I have who seem like they're stable and kind of on track have parents who are pretty, sometimes to the point of, over, of overbearing, but they're pretty involved. 
parents who really kind of don't let up. And and it was and it was interesting to me. Yeah, that was interesting to me because on some level, at, at a certain age, you're like, oh, I wish they would just go away. I wish my parents would just go away. Leave me alone, <clears throat> right? Anybody felt this? But so it was. So it was interesting to me to observe that the friends of mine who where I felt like, okay, this person, like, you know, people that I admired, people in my peer group where I thought, wow, they really kind of have, they've got a, they're, they're, they're doing life well. They're doing this adolescence thing really well. They, most of them, I mean, I can't think of one who didn't, um, have parents who were really kind of in the game. And I had some friends who had parents who were kind of like, hands off, not too many, you know, just like backed away, felt a little disengaged. And lo and behold, those kids often struggled. So when that lesson came, sort of like showed up for me in my awareness, and this is years ago, I mean, we're talking decades ago, I noticed this, like I said, late adolescence is when I sort of like clued into this and some, and, I, and it didn't even really surface as a major thought at the time. I'm kind of surprised I can remember that I had this recognition, but it, it certainly, you know, showed up with enough resonance to be, to, to, to stay with me. I didn't know what to make of it. And I sort of, but I did kind of hold it. I did, I did, I did take it as a thing like, okay, I, I'm, it modified my rebellious adolescent energy at least enough to acknowledge that there was something going on here that was that went beyond, you know, my kind of like leave me alone, I want to do my own thing impulses. Something there was something there's a dawning awareness of something else going on. Um which of course now as a parent, I can already tell. Like I don't know, I have never parented a teenager, but I know that I'm going to be just like my entire heart is gonna be on the line and completely wanting the absolute, you know, I'm wanting to like smother my child in love, like just give them a giant billowing hug with all the love I can muster and help them. And I might not have to just like back off with that. So man, do I ever have, can I ever understand my own parents when I was that age a little better now? and other parents of people my age when I was that age. Whew. A whole lot shows up when you kind of start to feel yourself in this role. But anyway, I, um, as that, as, as we, as I, continue through this process, I'm finding that community is kind of helpful. This whole takes a village thing is a real thing. And, you know, it's, and it's exciting on some level because it's like, well, who, 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 who are we going to invite into our village? Like, who are we going to build this village with? And we do have some very cool people around in our orbit right now. So... But anyway, kind of building a community, reaching for a community is what's on my mind today. And it's, it's fun to unpack it and just see where I'm coming from with this and what elements of my life feel like the most, uh, you know, feel like the origin points of that impulse. So that's what I got today, folks. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon.